Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. You know, I want to talk with you a little bit about uh, moving fish. You know, whenever you move fish from tank to tank, especially cichlids, uh, you, uh, you hold your breath and you keep your fingers crossed because uh, in particular with cichlids, because you don't know what kind, what kind of a greeting, what kind of a welcoming they're going to get in their new tank. And you don't know what removing them from the tank you took them from is going to do to those fish. Because sometimes if you remove a fish, and that fish was the dominant fish in a tank, and you do like I do, and you graduate him to a, to a bigger tank, that's, that's going to shake up the order in the older tank, in the tank they're coming from, and they're going to possibly get into a little bit of a battle to, uh, to assume control. In the new tank, uh, cichlids have a tendency to, to pick on, to nip, and to, uh, to give a welcome party to new cichlids in, in ways that can sometimes be a little bit brutal. So um, when I took my, uh, my uh, Aristochromis uh, christii, the, the uh, Malawi hawk, out of the uh, quarantine tank and moved him into the hundred, I uh, was, was anxious to see what was going to happen. And uh, some of the things you look for is you look for marks on the side of the fish. Is he getting hit? You look for uh, fin damage, and certainly you would look for lip damage. You know, is the fish getting into some lip locking? And uh, let's take a look, because I moved two fish, both of them uh, what you would call predator haps, and both of them went from one tank into the 100, and uh, so the 100 was, uh, was disrupted a little bit. But let's take a look at what happened, and uh, be sure to share your comments below. Be sure to hit that bell and become part of the Convo gang. And uh, as I've said before, I love watching the conversations that take place in the comments below. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Let's take a look at the tanks and let's see what's happening in there. Well, I'm very, very happy to report that the Malawi Hawk is actually getting along fine. You can see him here cruising around and he's even starting to get a little bit of blue in his body. I'm very, uh, very excited and anxious to see that blue come back in the face, uh, like he had when I first uh, when I first got him. He's a beautiful fish, and you can see he's doing that little side glance downward, and uh, that hawks do. One of the reasons I was a little bit concerned is that hawks have very, very powerful jaws, and so they can do a lot of damage. Here's the uh, living stone eye, the nimbochromus. Living stone eye that I brought over from the 60. And as you can see, he settled in very, very nicely. There's no damage on either of them, so I know that they're not really getting into it with anybody else. This fish, as you can see by some of the color coming in the face, some of the markings on the body, he's just a beautiful living stone eye, and I'm very happy to have a male. I grew one out before that I was pretty sure was a male, but then that male had fry. So uh, <laughs> I was fooled. So uh, the, tra the uh, transferring of the fish from quarantine, in the case of the hawk, to the 100, and from the 60 grow out, in the case of the living stone eye, to the 100, has worked out very well. There's, no, uh, there's nothing going on in here. There's no uh, craziness. There's no uh, battles. There's no lip locking. The uh, hawk is doing his little downward glance every now and then at other fish, but he's not taking any action. I love the blue, the blue that you see in, uh, in cichlids, and that uh, Maduka white lips is just uh, an amazing shade of blue contrasting with the, uh, with the white. Here's a little lemon jake that I picked up from the wonder of cichlids. Usually he's kind of shy and hangs out in the back. As I've mentioned before, I have three of these, Bucochromus notatanius, and of course, Los Tres Amigos, my three clown loaches. This fish here, the Exochromus and Genus, which I picked up from Cunningham, Cunningham Cichlids, they have extremely powerful jaws. Fortunately, he's a very mellow fish. Because of his little black mustache, we named him Earl. But at any rate, things in the 100 are calm, all is good. 
fingers crossed, like all of us cichlid keepers. Hey, so far, so good. <laughs> So, uh, as every cichlid keeper knows, you keep your fingers crossed, you hope for the best, and you know that uh, right when things can seem calm and perfect, uh, something can, uh, a, a, a switch can flip in that little fish brain, and all of a sudden it's a battle royale. But for right now, it looks like the Malawi hawk and, the, um, and also the, the Nibochromus living stony. Both of them have settled in and have uh, had a pretty smooth transition. I think part of the reason for that is because there are fish of comparable size and some a little bit bigger that I, I don't think either one of them really wanted to challenge. And also because those the 100 is so stocked that it's, um, it's very uncommon for a fish in that tank to get singled out. It's an example of um, why sometimes cichlid keepers will stock a tank heavily to spread out aggression and that is what I think I have going on in the 100 right now so that is certainly working working to my favor so I'll keep an eye on them I'm uh, I'm excited uh, with what's going on and I really can't wait for those uh, for those two fish for the uh, Nimbochromus Livingstone and the Malawi Hawk to get big enough to go into the tank here behind me which is ultimately what I want uh, to have as their home. So they have more sw swim space, six feet across and 24 inches from front to back. So they can have a nice, nice big area. Right now, if I put them back here, they'll probably get, uh, they'll probably get mangled and ultimately killed. They're not quite big enough to go into the tank behind me, but soon, soon, stay tuned and you'll see. All right, so that's it for now. Be sure to tune in on Saturday for the uh, live stream. We're going to talk about a few interesting subjects. And uh, don't forget, comment, rate, share, and all that good stuff. And I really do appreciate you stopping by. And uh, have you seen the mugs? I think they're kind of cool. Pick one up. All right. Thank you so much. <music>